In this video is about the exhaust gas cleaning system the scrubber unit the scrubber system is a design for the most straightened sulfur emission label requirements when the vessel is operating inside a sulfur emission control area or SICA the sulfur limit is equivalent to 0.1 percent fuel sulfur content and if the diesel operating outside the SICA area the regulation is the sulfur content is 0.5 percent fuel sulfur content and this is applicable from January 2020 so now we are going to check one by one our open loop scrubber system components. This is the main engine and the auxiliary engine where the main engine exhaust gas pass through the main engine turbocharger. Then after the turbocharger pass through the auxiliary boiler and this is the top view of the auxiliary boiler where the exhaust gases of the main engine pass from the turbocharger of the main engine and this is the drain pipe of the scrubber where the wash water drain this pipe through the bottom of the engine side and directly discharge overboard the wash water. This is the scrubber unit air sealing fan 1 and 2. This is the scrubber water level. We have high level alarm and high high labor alarm. If the high high alarm level is activated, the scrubber unit is automatic shutdown and this is the construction of our scrubber unit system and this is the scrubber unit and on the other side and the small one is the venturi unit where the exhaust gas of the main engine and the generator engine were passing through this venturi from top to bottom of the scrubber and scrubbing with the sea water by sea water nozzle. This is the main engine exhaust pipe panel from the auxiliary boiler. When the three bulb damper going to the atmosphere is closed and the three bulb damper is open going to the venturi the exhaust gas going to the venturi is cooling down by seawater and this is the exhaust gas collecting unit for the exhaust gas analyzer so through this equipment we are collecting the exhaust gas after scrubbing with seawater and send to the exhaust gas analyzer cabinet for the final measurement and we have the differential pressure temperature sensor and the solenoid valve the top seawater nozzle valve is activated only during stoppage of the unit the center seawater nozzle valve is always activated and because this is manual operated valve so when the pump is running and the seawater is continuous free inside the scrubber unit and this is the lower part of the seawater nozzle with automatic bulb operation so when the system is automatic start 
and this valve also automatic open to spray the seawater inside the scrubber. The total of three nozzle in our scrubber unit for the seawater system and only two nozzle will spray continuously during operation. This is for generator engine number one, uh, panel damper. The damper is open going to the atmosphere. And the damper going to the venturi is closed position, meaning the generator engine number one is stop condition. This is for the generator engine number two, three way bulb automatic damper. So the air ceiling is open. The damper going to the atmosphere is closed. And the damper going to the binturi is open position. Meaning the generator engine number two is running this is for the generator engine number three automatic damper three V bulb the air ceiling bulb is closed the atmosphere damper bulb is open and the damper bulb going to the venturi is closed position meaning the generator engine number three is stuck this is the generator engine number one number two and number three exhaust panel directly to the atmosphere when the bypass is open without scrubbing This is the exhaust gas panel of the main engine. Then connected together with the exhaust gas panel of the generator engine. And together going down to the venturi. Then the exhaust gas inside the venturi is cooling down by seawater. Then after the venturi passes to the scrubber unit, after scrubbing the exhaust gas, exist going to the atmosphere. So this is the actual animation video for the operation of the scrubber. The bypass is closed, the valve bulb is open, the exhaust gas is going to the venturi. Then, after the venturi, exhaust gas enter to the pack beds and spread by the water downwards. And then, after that, the exhaust gas exit going to the atmosphere. And this is the main engine exhaust gas funnel and directly into the atmosphere when the bypass is open this is the main engine three-way bulb air sealing pipe connection one is connected going to the atmosphere one pipe is connected going to the venturi this is the main engine main three-way bulb dumper so this is automatic open and automatic close operation but if in case this is not automatically open you can use manually open by the use of this special tools the special spanner and inside this cabinet damper panel we have a short cleaning for manual or automatic operation this is the seawater pipe 
going to the bin Churi and the scrubber unit and we are going to check the pressure on the flow meter the seawater we have a 321 to 322 cubic meter per hour going to the scrubber unit system this is our exhaust gas analyzer so after collecting the exhaust gas from the sensor unit so this is the final measurement of our SO2 4.9 CO2 4.8 CO2 and SO2 is 1.0 humidity 2.1 volt percent and pressure 750 and flow of 230 liters per hour and also our gas analyzer cabinet we have an air dryer and we have a waste tank this is our seawater pump number one and seawater pump number two so from our seawater suction side we have two cabinet number one is pressure regulator unit and inside this cabinet we have a debubbler complete the pressure regulator bulb and the pressure relief bulb and this is the strainer and the main switch on the other cabinet is the water monitoring unit to monitor the pH the pH the turbidity the flow of seawater liter per minute and also we have to select the stop the automatic and run so inside this cabinet we have to check one by one the components we have a uh, turbidity measurement PAH sensor the turbidity sensor and the PH sensor so this is the components inside the cabinet on the suction side of our sea water and this is for our scrubber overboard bulb we have two unit of overboard bulb and then this is the final measurement cabinet this is the pump unit for the wash water overboard so we have to check inside for this pump unit cabinet so we have a debubbler complete we have a strainer and the pump unit and this is the water monitoring system for the wash water this is the final measurement going to overboard the turbidity the pH the pH and the flow of wash water overboard and inside this cabinet we have the pH sensor 
the turbidity sensor and the pH sensor This is the control panel of seawater pump number 1 and number 2. So this is the main control panel of the scrubber unit system. So before the starting of the scrubber unit system, you have to check one by one that no abnormal alarm on the main control panel and then after the checking all is in normal condition you can go this sequences during starting operation this is the venturi operation and this is for the scrubber unit so you can check during this starting operation so make sure that before the operation that the main engine and generator engine is on standby mode meaning automatic running the scrubber unit system all is on standby and a green is running condition and then you have to check the area if you are eka area or outside the eka area next the scrubber unit system you have to check the all bulb opening for the main engine and generator engine you have the pressure and the temperature you have to check one by one this is the seawater inlet bulb open and the outlet of the seawater for our scrubber unit is open and this is for the main engine and the air sealing fan system so we have to check the air sealing fan is running the main, main engine dumper is open going to the scrubber unit the main engine is running condition this is for the generator engine unit engine number one is stop condition bypass is open number two generator engine bypass is closed scrubber is open number three generator bypass is open and scrubber is closed and check the air ceiling bulb is open and this is for the seawater pump and check the seawater bulb inlet is open seawater pump is running this is a scrubber unit and the scrubber wastewater overboard bulb is open we have two overboard discharge outlet to ensure correct pH dispersion of the wash water discharge. And we are going to check the emission monitoring. And this is the emission monitoring. So we have to check the PAH. The alarm label and the normal level the turbidity the high level and the alarm level the ph outlet and the c auto and is auto outlet that all is running under compliance
And this is the technical manual for open loop discharge limit. So we are going to check the pH outlet limit is 2.7. The pH, the differential pressure, the turbidity, and the differential pressure. And our SO2 and CO2 outlet ppm per volume is 4.3. And this is equivalent of 0.1% sulfur content.